Among them was an email from Clinton's campaign chairman, John Podesta, to Clinton aide Cheryl Mills. Now, Podesta discussed Hillary's server scandal, asking, quote, well, you think we should hold emails to and from the POTUS, president of the United States? Well, that's the heart of the executive privilege or his executive privilege. We could get them to ask for that. Now, they may not care, but it seems like they will. Here with reaction to the co-host of The Five, Kimberly Guilfoyle, the host of Justice, Judge Jeanine Pirro. Okay, we got to slow down here because we got collusion. We know that the State Department contacted Hillary's campaign, gave him a heads up. We know that the Justice Department gave Hillary's campaign a heads up. We know now that the White House was actively involved because the president who said he learned about the emails in the press ended up getting emails to and from Hillary. Now, I would say because of everyone's involvement, we need an outside investigator, we need a grand jury impaneled, and there is a possibility, first of all, that if they destroyed those emails and they were under subpoena, that's a crime. That's called obstruction of justice. So she could get elected and be impeached in, within days. True or false? Well, you're right. Uh, she could get elected and be impeached. But here's the problem. You've got the Clintons who have their tentacles all over. This is a textbook example of collusion, corruption, and a banana republic. You've got the Department of Justice, the FBI, the State Department, as well as and the, the White, House. White House. All, all in collusion. Them in agreement just to make sure that Hillary gets in. I mean, the deal is everybody's in on the deal except for the American people. You can get the Justice Department or a special prosecutor with grand jury powers to start all over. But here's the problem. Yeah. Jim Comey destroyed some of the evidence. Jim Comey allowed for the destruction of some of the it evidence. It makes you wonder what they have on Jim Comey. Well, you know what? It, it makes Sorry, you wonder. Sorry, because his actions I don't agree. make any sense. I agree. I know him to be a different man, but I am terribly disappointed. You think there's a possibility they may have something on him? I don't know what they did to him or why that why he did what he did, but it's contrary right. to the law. But here, if they're, we're in the middle of an investigation, why would the Justice Department be talking to the Clinton campaign? Is there any justifiable reason, just I, like any justifiable reason Bill Clinton got on a plane for 40 minutes with Loretta Lynch? No, the impropriety of it, um, the lack of ethics and Morality. I mean, this is a big problem. And now here you have the proof is in the putting in these emails to show the collusion, to show the, the desire to obstruct justice, to perpetrate a fraud upon the American people. It is outrageous. We're both former prosecutors. And when you see something like this, it really shocks the conscience. And by the so way, we know this is Obama about someone who lied. may take the most important office in the world, the presidency of the United States. I, wa I want to dig deeper into this because we know Obama lied when he told the yes. American people. Oh, I just learned about it in the press like right. all of you. Yes. That was a lie. Okay, so now we have an issue. If that evidence was subpoenaed, the emails, and John Podesta and Cheryl Mills are conspiring to erase them and get rid of them, and he's invoking executive privilege as a means of getting out from under this cloud, mm -hmm. what did the president know? And, and when, when did he, he know, know it? it? Mm -hmm. And that's exactly the problem, because you've got this cover-up, and, and generally the cover-up is worse than the crime itself. You've got the president saying he had no idea that she had this private server. And, and, he, and he's it, emailing it, her and on he's it. he's emailing her on it. And I said right from the beginning, the reason there were no charges by Comey is because the, the first witness for Hillary Clinton would for the Obama. defense would be President Barack Obama, because he was communicating with her on a private server less secure than Google. Let's did, get so, wait a minute. so did Obama influence his attorney general and his State did. Department? Of course he okay, did. Okay, but that is but against listen, the law. No kidding. But if yeah. you listen to Loretta Lynch, you think she's made an independent decision in her life? No. When no. she meets with, with Bill Clinton on an airplane, and then two days later, Hillary Clinton says, if I become president, I'm going to appoint her attorney general. This is a banana republic, and we're the stooges in it. Well, but, and it's the way the Clintons do business. It's the way mm -hmm. Bill Clinton, Hillary Hillary Clinton, the Clinton Foundation, and by the oh. way, they were passing out immunity like party favors to everybody, including Cheryl Mills, who was also oh, advising yeah. Hillary at the time. So basically, they did it to shut so, the case down. Right, exactly. you're going to have to ask a judge, too, to set aside, perhaps, some but of the immunity But in a proper grants. agreement, isn't it given specific information that you're going to hand over? Mm -hmm. So it may, there may still be some opening somewhere, but I'm, I'm assuring they probably dotted their I's and crossed their T's here. The proper agreement is only issued by the Department of 
justice when the person making the proffer is offering them evidence of a crime. Otherwise, there's no point of giving immunity. Why would the FBI ever agree as part of the deal to destroy evidence? Because they wanted to get rid of it, pure and simple. Sometimes the most simple answers are the ones that first come to mind. Right. And so Common what, what sense, they didn't yeah. count on is that WikiLeaks had all uh, of them. The that Julian would expose Assange. it. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. That was the unknown variable that came forward that will haunt them. And the problem is we're real close to the election here, and there's a strong likelihood she could be the next president. Now what? But they knew, they knew WikiLeaks was coming out, which is why they saved all of the Trump stuff. They knew they were in deep trouble. And yeah. they said, let's hold all this. So they that's where the it, women yeah. come from. Well, that's five at once. The bottom line is you wonder why these um, allegations weren't brought forward, and then also why the media was complicit was in holding things like the tape to oh, bring it forward course. for maximum mm -hmm. impact. Is, right, by the way, between the two, you guys got a lot of bling. I'm noticing your oh, she's got much earrings. And you got the good stuff. Yeah. I am totally like... Yeah. I feel, oh, but you're, but don't what? even go there. Don't I don't, have, go I don't there. wear jewelry don't at all. I don't even have a ring. Yeah. I don't have nothing. Uh, right. You got something better. Yeah, you and do. Coming up next, tonight on Hannity. If I watched Fox News, I wouldn't vote for me. I understand. If, if I was listening to Rush Limbaugh, I'd say, man, that's terrible. There's Obama back out there campaigning and for Hillary Clinton and attacking.